We want to get as many people as possible praying this this coming year. Hi, I'm Alice K. Ruckelhaus. And I'm David Walsh. And we're from Suffering Well. And today we want to talk a little bit about some ideas for how you can use the prayer, the how prayer, and how you can, who you might want to share it with. We want to get as many people as possible praying this, this coming year. So David, what's one way that we can do it? Well, one way is you can just pray it by yourself in the morning, in the evening. Uh, you can copy and paste it into a Word document, but they may also learn it in segments. So just mm -hmm. pray the segment that you know, you know, yeah. just to get started. Eventually, hopefully, yeah, you can do it all. Yeah. And we're not saying you have to memorize it, but if you do, then you can, you know, do it while you're driving and things like that. So um, another thing that we want to encourage you to do is if you're married, pray it with your spouse. If you don't already pray with your spouse, that is just a really, really great, great way of growing closer to each other. So I would really encourage you to pray it with your spouse. You know, to take it a step further, pray it as a family. Mm -hmm. a family that prays together stays together. Right. right. Yeah. So if you pray it with your family, maybe talk about some of the parts with your children, make sure that you explain to them what the words mean. Yeah. David has used some really descriptive words in there, but they're not very common words. So this is a great way to um, to increase your children's vocabulary, maybe even your vocabulary. I've increased my vocabulary from this prayer. <laughs> okay, so and along that line, you know, I used to homeschool. So I want to encourage you, if you do homeschool, use this with your children. Talk about a little bit of it each day or each week. And we're going to be doing videos throughout the year, which you can watch. We're not, we're not going to be directing them to children, but you can watch them and then explain those things to your children. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have a prayer group or you may want to start a prayer group to, to do this, to bring people in your neighborhood together who are concerned about what's going on in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And just like you can grow closer to your spouse or your family by praying it together with them, you can grow closer to your friends and your neighbors as you unite in prayer for asking God to heal our land and even sharing with each other some of the struggles that you're having um, as we go through this, especially the examination of conscience and everything. I think we already mentioned, uh, you know, you don't want to be reading a piece of paper while you're driving, but but whatever you do remember or just the, the you know, whatever the essence of the prayer is, say it in your own words. Yeah, but, and you, uh, can also, you can also listen to our video and pray along with us oh, yeah. that way while right. you're driving as well. But if, you, if you're lucky enough to not have to drive, maybe you can pray it on the train. Or pray it in the rain. That's another way. Could you pray it in a box? Pray it with a fox. That might be hard. I think maybe we should pray it with, uh, try to pray it in your parish or your church. Yeah, you can share this with your pastor or priest. You can share it with other people in your parish or in your church to pray it with. Mm -hmm. A Bible study group would be mm -hmm. a, a good place to, to bring the prayer into it. Yeah, and you can really get into that in a Bible study group because so much of this either alludes to Scripture or directly quotes Scripture, and so you can start bringing those things out. And we'll be talking about those in our videos as well. But you can start, if you know your Bible well, which I know a lot of you do, you can go through this prayer and look for the things that relate to the Bible, either come directly out of it or allude to a verse in the Bible. So hopefully some people will be starting a how group to pray for different countries um, that, you know, that would be something they could pray in, in, the, in that group. Yeah. Pray uh, at the beginning, at the sometimes, beginning. yeah, our groups, we, we start and end the meetings in prayer. That, that would be a good place to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That would be great. Also, you can send it out to your friends by email, encourage them to start praying this. You can send either the written forum or you can send a link to the video. If you think that they would want to pray along with us, whatever you think would be easier and for your friends and most conducive to them actually doing it. Mm -hmm. And then with your, uh, maybe the friends you're not in touch with personally, like on social media, 
Facebook, yeah. Instagram. Yeah, Things other like social that. media, anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, we just want to spread this around. We want to have as many people as possible praying this at the same time. And it's not just praying it, but it's like you'll notice in the prayer, you start to examine your conscience because it says, you know, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves dot, 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 and turn from their wicked ways. So there's a whole repentance thing in there. And then there's also seeking God's face, wanting to know what his will is, not our will, but his will, and to do it his way, not our way. Right. That's The whole prayer is just, and it, it's, it's an extrapolation of that Chronicles verse, the second Chronicles verse. And it goes into more detail so that people can reflect on it more deeply. And even if you don't have the time to do it all, just do different parts at different times of the day. Maybe part of it you say before a meal instead of grace or in addition to grace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the know. whole prayer takes about 10 minutes. So David's idea of splitting it up into sections to pray throughout the day is really good if you're on a tight schedule or something. Oh, you know what? You could print it out and put it in your Christmas cards that you send out to people. Or if you send out a family letter for Christmas, that would be mm -hmm. really great too. Um, you need anyway, extra postage on it though, I think. Because it's so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So so this would there are a lot of ideas of different ways that you can use it. And if you have any ideas, please share those in the comments below so that other people can see those as well. And look in the comments and see what other ideas people have. We just want to get as many people praying this at one time as possible. Do This is about healing our world and we want to have as many people involved as possible. Yes. Yes. We want to, we want to, we, we always have God's attention, but we want to, it's not about getting his attention. It's about us showing our sincerity in wanting to do his will. We want to show that we're all together in this and wanting him to heal our world. Yep. Okay. We love you all. And we will talk to you later. Watch tomorrow's videos for the prayer. We are going to have that recorded with the words and everything so that you can pray along. All right. We love you all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.